Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this particular video is regarding Summer Research Fellowship Program which is organized by Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Science and Research uh, which is called JNCASR. It's one of the topmost institute which comes for higher education in India and uh, this is a DST funded institute and uh, over here they have now announced for a Summer Research Fellowship Program. So in case if you fulfill the uh, eligibility criteria and if you are interested to join and you want to get some research uh, inter uh, like research experience in that case this is one of the best opportunity for you to apply and to get it. So I'll be talking about complete about this summer research fellowship program so do watch this video till end also if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed the channel please do consider subscribing it and now without wasting any time let's continue with our video. All right, so this is the internship page. I will give you a link to reach out to this page directly. So you can reach out here directly through the link given in the description. So that it says that the application for SRFP, which is short form of the Summer Research Fellowship Program. So it is open from 13th of April and the last date for application is 30th of April. So make sure you apply within the dates, right? Research areas over here, all these research areas are there like life sciences, material sciences, chemical sciences, physical sciences and engineering sciences. Now um, basically if uh, you are among these subjects like if you if you belong to any of these subjects you can apply for this but I will be discussing about the chemical sciences because the channel resonates with the chemical sciences students right. So in chemical sciences there are various other research areas which are mentioned in very brief over here so solid state chemistry, theoretical and computational chemistry, organic chemistry, physical and inorganic chemistry organic and asymmetric synthesis, uh, medicinal and bio-organic chemistry, polymer chemistry, supramolecular chemistry and chemistry for nanomaterials, uh, renewable energy and healthcare related material chemistry. So you can see so many different uh, research areas are there where research is going on in GNCSR. So now we will let, uh, we will come a little down. So the research areas are done. Now let's look upon the educational qualification or you can say the eligibility criteria for this. So if you scroll a little bit down, there are eligibility criteria for all the different uh, like uh, subjects which are given to you. It's mentioned in a common that uh, students who have secured not less than 80% marks in mathematics and science subject in their 10th and 12th standard or equivalent examination and not less than first class in graduation and post graduation if applicable. So that means if you have done 10th or 12th your marks should not be less than 80% in your maths and science. So in 10th you might have taken maths and science. So there your marks should not have been less than 80%. In 12th standard of course you will be having a bio or you will be having either biophysics chemistry or uh, biomathematics and chemistry whatever uh, it goes on your marks should not be less than 80% in them. And it also says that you should also have qualified your graduation with first class and post graduation if applicable right. Let's look upon the eligibility for chemical sciences. So for material sciences and chemical sciences it is mentioned uh, like uh, uh, in a common way. So it says that a student presently in the fourth year of BSMS or in the first year of MSc or in the fourth year of integrated MSc can apply. So this is only and only applicable for these students okay. Others cannot apply for this because in comments many people ask me that I have uh, completed my MSc can I apply or something like that. So see it's very clearly mentioned. If you are in first year of MSc then only you can apply, those who are in second year of MSc they cannot even apply for this okay. So those who are in first year of MSc they can only apply or in the fourth year of BSMS or in the fourth year of your MS, uh, integrated MSc alright. Provided that you fulfill this eligibility criteria as well alright. So these are the two criteria which is here. Now let's talk about the stipend. So the student selected under the program they will be placed with scientist at the center or elsewhere in India. So either you will be called to JNCSR or you will be given uh, like uh, the project work in any other DST funded institute any other in India okay. Most in most of the cases or in majority of the cases you will be called to JNCSR okay that is in Bengaluru. You have to go over there for the internship program for two continuous month. So you have to stay for two month with a stipend of rupees 10,000 per month. So you will be getting a 
decent stipend of 10,000 per month for two months, right? Before you apply, please read the eligibility criteria above carefully. So again, it is mentioned that if you are interested to apply, you have to look upon the eligibility criteria over there. Now to apply, you have to click on this particular link. One note is given that the online portal of the application is facing some issues. If you are unable to register or complete your application, please come back at a later stage, maybe a day later and try again. We regret the inconvenience. So there is some technical bug over there. So in case if you are also struggling and if you are not able to register or if you are not able to uh, fill the form or if you are not able to you know apply for it please be patient about it and just try again after a day fine so let's say how how to register and so on so just click on this particular link to register over here you will be taken to this particular page where all these things are given in detail like fellowship and extension programs then all these things are written about it okay so everything is given in detail about it what we have to do is we have to register because we are new so we will register over here so once you click over here you will be asked to register now it will be asked whether you are a student whether you are an institute or whether you are faculty now a student you have to because you are a student right so you have to fill student uh, institute is sometimes institutes join uh, the internship programs or there are some programs which are over here which are uh, actually organized for different institutes so they join this and sometimes faculties join some programs some training programs and all so this is for faculty but right now this srfp summer research uh, fellowship program is for students so you have to click on this student link and then you will be taken to this page where you actually have to register here you have to fill your first name your email address and your password and you just have to register over here. so once you fill all these things uh, you will be given a confirmation mail you have to just verify that mail and you can then log in and fill the form the rest of the part of the form all right so this is how you have to apply the process is pretty simple you just have to register and then log in and then start filling the form that's it provided that you fulfill the eligibility criteria in gncsr there is nothing much uh, to apply there is nothing you know there is not much problem in the application process just the eligibility criteria is little bit uh, strict over here so just make sure if you fall under this particular uh, eligibility criteria and if you are interested do go for it and apply for uh, the summer research fellowship program it's a good program and many students in the last years they have got a lot of benefit from this particular program so this time this is more going to be offline although nothing is mentioned over here but since they have said ki you the selected application will be called to the center so that means the program will be offline it won't be online all right so that's it from my side for this particular video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on unacademy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take Unacademy Plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the Unacademy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes, which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take Unacademy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.